Hey, good afternoon, evening, whichever you prefer. Yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, uh, coming of age vlog. Thursday evening. Yeah, I had that. I want to make a couple of corrections from a couple of days ago. Um, one from last night. I was talking about Belial. And his company, he's with us called In the Spotlight. Look them up. They cover a lot of entertainment around the Bay Area. Belial. And TC. TC is his name. The, the guy that worked with Grady Wilkins. TC. Yeah, I had to correct that. You've seen your moments, okay? You forget. You think you know. But if somebody came back, I could tell you if I made a mistake. So anyway, I was just looking at um, Will I Am. He's crying. His, his heart is broke. Of a Kanye statement. You got anything better to do, bro? All them hits you, you had? Go write another hit. Waste your time crying. My God. Any, anyway, God bless him. However it affects you, it affects you. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm swagging my, my, my stepson's gear, you guys. Bully, look him up. Uh, I think you tell him how to look, look him up. They got a website. They got a Bully website. It's called Occupy Fashion. Of course, you know, that's what my page is about to. We're about fashion here. Okay? So anyway, uh, believe it or not, you guys, I was listening to this guy, uh, Del Patrick Delvin. He's talking about our health. You guys go over to his page and check him out. It's deep. I'm talking about prostate cancer and what we could do to stop it. You need to check him out. Did you know that in 1989 there was 179,300 cases, diagnosis, prostate cancer? And do you know that same year, 37 died? And it's highly uh, Afro-Americans who's getting it because of our diets, eating the fats. Listen to his page, Patrick Delvin. So on my page, we're going to do a little everything about money. We're going to be about health. We're going to be about making money. We're going to be about everything on my page because as I find out, I'm going to give it to you because sometimes things just hit me and I give it to you right away. Like last night, you know, if not now, when? I just, you know what I'm saying? It, it's hit me, you guys. It's, 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 it's interesting how since I committed to this, things are just falling in place. People are like today at Walmart, you know, this guy, you know, I just got to talking about Martin Luther King. He, he experienced it. He was there. 12 years old. I'm 69 now. Survived it. I gotta get his last name. I'm, I'm gonna get him on here. He's he's another shy one. I was like, you know, hey, can I interview? Oh no, no, just Google it. Dude, I'm gonna know you, but people should know you. You experienced it to give us some. Some people aren't into it, so I'm, you know, I'm push it. So anyway, on to other news. And while I was looking at his, uh, while I was looking at Patrick Delvin's uh, live feed, which is still going. Um, my name popped up. Somebody recognized me. Hello, hello. And do you know what else came up? Doug Coleman's name. Is that spooky or what? Daryl Coleman's name. But it wasn't his picture. Brings me to my other topic. Daryl Coley. My experience with Mr. Daryl Coley. When I first met Daryl, I was at a church, uh, like I told you, me and, me and my brother Hudson, uh, we were in church, the same church at that time, and uh, he, we had a keyboard player there. He played for us, the choir, and he had said to me, uh, um, it's a choir over in Oakland, you know, Dirk Coley's doing out of Alameda. I said, man, he said, you should join it. So I said, okay. I was the only one in my choir joined it. The best experience of my life. Boy, I got a crash course in contemporary gospel. Because Daryl was so soulful. I mean, you know, he, he was soulful. I was in this choir, and guess who I met there? Beverly! <laughs> oh my God, my ex wife, my kid's mother. That's who I met her in that choir. So, um,. From that point on, from that point on, Generations was one of the biggest choirs in that era. We um, we did a lot of work with uh, Walter Hawkins. We performed a lot of this church. We won awards that year, gospel awards that year. Um, I never forget Daryl. And I was like, where's he getting it from? So one day I peeped in his car and he had like a People Bryson album. 
back of his car, right? I'm like, oh, I got your secret. That's Daryl listened to a lot of music. Daryl infused soul music into his gospel, which made him the way he was. He's great. Rest in peace, Daryl. I miss you, man. Last time I seen Daryl, we had a fundraiser. I think I mentioned that, didn't I? We had a fundraiser for Daryl. No, I didn't. No, it was another fundraiser. Yeah, in San Francisco, and um, Cookie and I attended that. And um, last time I seen Daryl, it was blind then. Yeah, it was going out slowly, but I, I kind of reminded him of who I was. You know, I had to remind him of the choir days. I don't think he really remembered who I was, but that's okay. I got to see him. I got to, got to feel the spirit again. So anyway, um, great man. I'm going to go and listen to some of his stuff and maybe even share it with you. Daryl Coley, I miss you, man. Uh, so now, anyway, on, on to other news. Uh, um, Cavaliers, man, the Cavaliers. I should have asked Tina. Uh, they, they was winning, you guys. It was up by eight, third quarter. Who knows? It's a good game. Raptors was winning earlier, so it's, that's a good game. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go back in here and finish watching that. But I just wanted to, I'm gonna run that by you before I forget. Because, you know, I'm like, wait a minute. I made a mistake yesterday. So um, I'm going to correct myself. So anyway, yeah, and pass some information on, too. So that's what we're all about, you know. Yeah, that's what we're all about here. So I'm going to get back and watch this game. Um, peace out. The war is coming back up tomorrow, I guess. So, you know, I'm going to check out LeBron. That's what he's going to do. All right, peace out.